I hope you guys had a really good weekend so far and today I thought it'd be a really cool idea if we started off early in the morning did a little bit of mallard duck hunting and then later towards the afternoon head out for some white tail bucks so I was out here looking for a couple of mallard ducks I was trying to line them up and my goal was to take down three drake mallard ducks right here in a row with one single shot but then I actually looked way out over there and that is a dime potential mallard duck so we definitely want to go after him However, we do have a tent over there, and I think if we fast travel to there, we should be in range to take a shot on that diamond duck. The only problem is, how are we going to know which duck is which? Uh, I don't think... Yeah, oh my god, they flew. Oh, there's our duck. There's our duck. I don't think it's even possible to hit him that high. I really don't, but you never know. You can't get him if you don't try, you know? No! No! <laughs> I think we got him. That was kind of loud. <laughs> but I think we got him. We got him. <laughs> We got him at 86 yards on the fly with one single BB, a 20.10 diamond Drake Mallard duck. I will definitely take that. Whew. I thought he was long gone, honestly. But a pretty big one. Pretty big one indeed. Man, was that awesome. It's not every day where you can get a diamond mallard duck like that, especially with the shotgun. So I'm very, very impressed. Now, all we had to do is zero in for 80. That was the key. We were zeroed in for 50 at first, and that wasn't touching them. Then we zeroed in for 80, and we smoked that duck. All right, time to hit up the next spot. The next spot we're going to go to is over here. We got a few mallards out there. Not a ton, but definitely a few. All right, so that's actually a pretty good duck. And this is kind of my goal here is to actually line up three different Drake Mallard ducks. Or get none. That could always be a thing too. But then we'll just smoke them in the sky. So it's okay. I honestly cannot believe that we didn't get one of those three ducks. But we got him now. All right, so here's a Drake and 14.2, 45 yards out. Thought I saw another Drake over here trying to wander off. That's going to be, oh, we did get one. Yeah, that's the one that we got on the water. 16.8 gold. Got him at 82 yards out. And that's why we dropped a little bit low because we're zeroed in for 50 instead of 80. I thought they were closer to 60, but... Oh well. And this is the blonde hen mallard. And this is going to be a hen. We just got to our next spot out here and we found another pretty amazing duck. He's actually, I think, right... Well, give me a minute. I can't find him at this point, but he's definitely out here somewhere. I saw... Right there. There he is. That's another giant down potential mallard duck out there. But this duck's a little bit out of range. He's actually... I would say probably 250, maybe 300 out. Uh, he's about 250. We should be able to make this happen, guys. Weezer went for 160. And if I can remember which duck is the right one, I think that's him, but I gotta double check because we do not want to get the wrong duck here. That would be so unfortunate. It's him. 250 yards. Here we go, guys. We drop low. Ooh, okay, it's been a while since I used a 22, so I'll have to try that one more time. We got him. Down potential duck is down. 
Yeah, that first shot dropped uh, a good foot below him. But I kind of forgot which mill dot to use because, like I said before, it's been a while since we've used the 22 um, on the ducks or even turkey at that matter. All right, guys, let's go over here and go see if we can't find our giant dime potential mallard duck. He should be floating in here any second now. Now, this duck actually didn't look quite as big as the other duck, but he is, in fact, going to be another diamond. A 21 diamond. This duck is actually bigger than the last duck that we just got. We took him at 228 yards and took him right in the breastbone there with a 22 rifle. Not bad. Double diamond mallard duck. One with a shotgun and one with a 22 rifle. So in case you're wondering where we got both diamond ducks from, the first one we got is over here at the South Lake. We actually, well, we spotted him at this tent here. He was out here feeding, like right here. And then we fast traveled to this tent here and took him as he was flying over right here at like 12 o'clock in the afternoon. Then the duck that we just got right now is over here at High Lake Outpost. We have a, well, just an outpost here, but he was out here feeding at about 1230 as well. And we took him down right there. Well, now that we had a pretty successful duck hunt so far, I thought we'd head out for some whitetail. We got a real decent whitetail buck out here, but he's about 390 yards. Now, it's kind of risky with the whole rendering glitch, but as long as we run immediately after we take the shot, we should be fine. So, let's make sure we're in run mode here. And now, let's get on this buck. That should have been a pretty awesome shot. Depending on what our drop was like, it looked pretty good. I found him. So I don't think we actually dropped him, but he didn't go too far. <laughs> That's all I know about that. And that ended up being a 399 yard right lung shot. Man, we were going directly for the heart on that, but a 184.7 gold white tail buck. I still can't believe that there was only one buck in that entire herd of whitetails. We got all does out here and then that one buck that we got. We got here just in time. We got a really nice whitetail buck right there, 250 yards out and a bunch of does as well. So again, he's going to be the only buck surrounded by all does. But this is definitely going to be quite a bit better. We're looking at about 240. He's slightly quartering at us, but we could definitely get a single lung and potentially liver from this angle right here. So let's get on him. Make sure we're in run mode. And I guess we really don't need to run at this point. Um, okay, well, <laughs> let's just go over there and go get our buck. He's a pretty good one. Should be like a 220 or 225, which is laying right here. Let's swing by and take a look at this beautiful white tail buck. A 218 gold, double lunged him at 240. So a perfect shot on him and a really solid whitetail buck down. Definitely our biggest buck that we've seen in quite some time. All right, we got two more really good bucks. One's a dandy. The other buck is a pretty decent buck. That buck right there is a decent buck, but the one in the back, that's a beautiful buck. He's about 280 out. Now, if we took this shot here, we're still gonna have to run quite a bit towards him. So I'm trying to figure out, should we go left or right? Honestly, I think we're gonna go right. So let's actually get in again, run position here. And then let's get on that buck. We're gonna try and double up here. I definitely wanna get the one in the back first and then the one in the front second. We're looking at roughly 280 yards here. Looked like two pretty incredible shots to me, but we'll have to go over to go find out how we did. Well, I guess that answers our question. We got both beautiful bucks laying right here side by side. That's the biggest buck right there. So we must have dropped him because he didn't go anywhere. Let's pick up this buck first. And he actually is going to be a gold, a 194. Double lunged him at 279. Took a look at that shot there. A little bit high on the shoulder, but pretty awesome shot. That was the second buck that we shot. And this buck here is the first and the biggest buck we got. Double lunged him at 286 yards and a 212 gold white tail buck we held high on that shoulder but like i said we got some pretty good drop i was holding like right here and we hit right there perfect double lung shoulder blade shot at 286 and an awesome white tail down now that is going to wrap up this hunt i hope you guys enjoyed it we had a pretty amazing hunt in the beginning took down two huge diamond mallard ducks and then we came out for some white tail and got some beautiful white tail in the end to finish it off and that's going to be it i hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time